So the first step is to create a cube, shift right mouse button, Q. I'm going to open the UV editor. By default, this is the UV layout that we get for the cube. If you hit Alt B, it will change the background of the interface as well as the background of the UV editor. So as you can see, it's a lot easier this way to visualize it. However, it's important to also keep track of this line here. So I'm going to keep it this way. Right now it's it's good as long as I do have the cube selected. So this is a good UV layout. Of course, there are ways to improve this to provide us with the highest resolution because as you can see here, this gap here and here, this is an unused space that we could utilize to increase the resolution of what we get in terms of texturing on the UV However, for a simple demonstration, this is pretty good. Now, what I want to do is to export this as an image, and then I will import it into a software of my choice. So the first step is to export this. Once you export it, you want to keep in mind that the UVs of the cube should no longer change. Otherwise, things will get messy. So you need to make sure that this is the finalized version that you want of the UVs before you export it. Once that is out of the way and it's decided, then in this case, what I'm going to do is click on image and then UV snapshot. Then I'll go here and define the resolution. I'll go all the way to 8K and it would adjust the other slider along with the first one. Now, this option here is important because if you keep it kind of white, you will have the issue of exporting the UVs in a way that you can hardly see those lines. So if you make it a little bit dark, like this, it would be more easily detectable for you. I'll just go with white and I will show you what's the result. It's no big deal as long as you're fully aware of what the UV looks like, but for complex things, you might want to choose a color that is very helpful. Either way, you can invert the colors in your software if you like. So. So I'm going to click on Browse and save it where I want it to be saved. And before I save it, just to make my work a lot easier, I'll just copy this directory, Control c So this way, whenever I want to go into Photoshop, for instance, and grab that texture, I will just paste that directory. And I'll show you what I'm talking about very quickly, very soon. So this is cube uv snapshot okay hit save before you click save and apply and close whatever you choose you want to make sure that you choose the format that works for you if you click on jpeg that's going to embed things together and that's not ideal you might want to export it as png because then it comes out with transparency so that's going to give you a lot more control without restrictions so PNG, and then apply and close. Takes a little bit of time, especially when you go 8K. Now, I'm going to go to Photoshop. 